My name is Adrian Glover. I'm a researcher in the zoology department of the Natural History Museum. My particular fascination and particular expertise is in the biology of animals that live in the deep sea, and in particular, uh, the Antarctic deep sea. People often think of Antarctica as a continent of ice and snow and barren land uh, with almost no biology. But the contrast with the marine environment is amazing in Antarctica. In recent years, we've uncovered a wealth of biodiversity. This is diversity all the way through the food chain, from microscopic animals living in the seafloor through to the quill that live off the algae and the sea ice, and then, of course, the penguins and the whales, which feed off those quill and make this uh, incredibly productive and incredibly diverse and interesting system to study. Nowadays we have quite a lot of advanced pieces of equipment that we can use to collect animals from deep sea around Antarctica, in particular remotely operated vehicles. These are mini submarines that we send down off the ship, uh, control them all the time from the surface and they're able to actually see the habitats you're working in. This is starting to revolutionise deep sea biology. We're able to actually target our, our sampling to particular animals of interest. So we were uncovering species new to science, including this uh, specimen here, which is a deep-sea polychaete, uh, dredged up from about 1,000 metres water depth. So a remarkable animal, characterised by these hairs which run down the side of it. But it's actually distantly related to earthworms that we find on land. What we're just starting to realise is how biodiversity may be changing as a result of climate change. Major changes actually could be occurring over the next 10, 20 years. Things that we don't really understand, but we're just starting to see those major changes occurring. And this is for me probably one of the most important reasons to go to the Antarctic and to study it.